This mod adds the Archimedes II multi-purpose weapon to the game. Now Archimedes translates almost directly to Master Plan from its Greek origin, which pretty much says it all, doesn't it? This thing's a game changer. I mean, it's a real one-size-fits-all weapon, if you know what I mean. This gun is so impressive, I wouldn't be surprised if it showed up in Infinity Wars Endgame and just bodied Thanos. Kids would be crying and in the theater. Daddy, what happened to the purple alien's head? The Archimedes happened, son. That's what just happened. This weapon mod has all its own custom meshes, textures, and animations that make it look incredible in the game. Above and beyond that, it has three distinct firing types. The Flare Charge, which is like a charged blast. The Dissipator Beam, which leaves a trail of fire on the targeted area. And the Big Chubby Penis itself, the Orbital Designation, which brings down a fucking super strong laser beam from space that poops on everything. This weapon has a fair amount of customization options to really change up its look, style, and function in the game, including three firing modes, three grips, three barrels, target time, cooldown time, three sights, and 14 skins to choose from. Now, if you want to rain down murderous hellfire just for shits and gigs, then you can find one of these weapons at the Institute in the Advanced Systems Lab on a desk. Or if you don't want to do that, you can also craft it at the chemistry station, along with its three unique ammunitions. This is an awesome mod that adds an unbelievably cool weapon to the game. I rate this mod one dog. Who thinks he's a hero? I got him! I got him pinned! Make a run for the door, man! Get out of here! Save yourself! Now this mod adds a modular rifle to Fallout 4. Now this weapon definitely has murder in its eyes. It's futuristic, but it's also really aggressive looking. Now there's a social debate going on right now that guns don't kill people, people kill people. Some people think guns are to blame, others think people are to blame. However, I think we can all agree that this gun kills people, okay? It doesn't even shoot them. It holds a pillow over their face while they sleep, the sick f now this rifle looks amazing in the game with all its own custom meshes and textures, which makes it stand out in the world, but it also looks like something you might find in Fallout 4. Possibly something the Institute was cooking up. So that gives it a little added sprinkle of immersive possibility, which is nice. Now this weapon has a bum load of customization options, including 4 receivers, 16 barrels, 5 stocks, 6 sights, 11 reticles, 28 skins, 6 attachments, and a partridge in a pear tree! I added the last thing for comedic effect. There is no partridge, or tree to speak of. Now there are more than 215 modifications for this weapon, which last time I checked, is a lot of fucking modifications. Now, if you want to acquire this weapon, it can be crafted at the chemistry station in the factor section, which is really convenient for people who know how to read. Unfortunately for me, I just have to hit buttons sporadically until something good happens. Now, this is an excellent mod that adds a great new weapon to the world space with some unbelievable characteristics and functionality. I rate this mod one cow that just got caught masturbating. What? What is it? Can't you see I'm busy? And next time, not first. Now, if I were to pull you aside and ask you what Fallout 4 was missing, you would likely look me right in the forehead and say, How the f*** did you get in my room? Then once you calm down and the chloroform weared off, we'd both just have a good cry. And you'd probably come to the conclusion that it's the laser RCW that was missing. But not anymore. No, no. Because this mod adds the unique laser SMG from Fallout New Vegas into the Commonwealth. Yes, this weapon does have some customization options as well to change up its style and function in the game. It's got three muzzles, three receivers, two grips, and three sights to choose from. This laser submachine gun looks incredible in the game, and it's sure to make any Fallout New Vegas fan foam at the penis. Yes. So if you want to wield your very own laser RCW, it can be found on any enemy that normally spawns with the vanilla submachine gun, as it has been added to the respective level list. Now this gun is a lot of fun to use in the game, and it's a pretty fashionable killing utensil, if I do say so myself. I rate this mod one monkey trying to troubleshoot his broken phone. Hello? Hello? Why is my phone not working? I can hardly think with all this wetness around me. Now this mod adds the .45 pistol from Fallout New Vegas to the Commonwealth. I remember when I first saw this weapon mod. It was a Tuesday, and I remember I was so impressed, I gallivanted into my bathroom, threw on the shower, set the shower head to laser beam, and just cried uncontrollably while high-pressure water hit my naked ass crack like a powerful sprinkler of emotions. 
Is that the weirdest thing that I've ever done after seeing a cool mod? Sadly, it is not. It's not even the weirdest thing I've done this week. Now, you might be thinking, does this weapon mod have any customization options? The answer is, oh boy, does it. It's got 10 receivers, 3 grips, 3 muzzle attachments, 4 magazines, and 2 sights to choose from. This pistol looks and functions really great in the game with all new custom meshes and textures that are sure to gently blow on your ball hair. Now, if you want to rock your very own .45 pistol, then you're in luck because this gun will show up in your game once your character reaches level 5 or better, as it has been added to the respective level list. Also, there is a unique variant of this weapon that can be found throughout the world space. Now, the hint that the mod author gives is find the lantern. Whatever the f*** that means, good luck and happy hunting. <laughs> Now this is yet another great mod that is sure to give Fallout 4 a much more Fallout New Vegas-y vibe. I rate this mod one horse that loves wearing blue jeans. Are you one of those sick, twisted, psycho f***s who likes to chase down your victims with the haunting sound of a buzzing chainsaw in the background like the elevator music in hell? Because this, this is perfect for you. you. Now you can cut someone's face off and wear it. It's so precise you can pass as anyone. I'm Mama Murphy. Uh, no, no, you're not. No, you are not. Oh, yeah? Take a look at this. Oh, yeah, what's that? Oh, my f***ing sweet f This chainsaw was made possible by using the Buzzsaw's unique melee animation from the Automatron DLC. So you're gonna need that Automatron DLC for this son of a b to work properly. It is roughly based on the concepts for the Auto Axe in Fallout 3 and the Chainsaw in Fallout New Vegas. It is extremely lore friendly and something that could definitely be found in the Commonwealth. It's a very unique addition to the game and it looks and functions great. Truce, bro. Truce, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Truce. Oh, God. Why is this happening? <laughs> It has multiple styles of teeth, multiple color customization options, and some pretty cool additional attachments including a skull on the blade for all those savage as f people who roam the commonwealth. It can also be added to the leveled list so you can find it on fallen foes. I rate this mod one doll I'm pretty sure wants to kill me. If that thing was in my house, I'd f***ing move. Koba Dunga is at it again with yet another quality mod to add to this week's list. This mod adds a 3-in-1 weapon mod which includes the Goer 98, the Car 98 AZ, and the Car 98 K. Now anyone who thinks I pronounce those guns incorrectly should know. I'm not German and I don't know how to read. All these rifles look old as f and from what I read on the internet were designed in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And as we all know, the internet never lies. There is just something about this old-fashioned design that just fits in so well with the Fallout universe. All of these weapons feel lore-friendly as f probably because they were all designed before the 1950s. Now, all of these weapons are single-shot rifles, so that means they're great for taking out enemies one at a time, but if you run into a group, things can get a little dicey. There's no way to run, buddy. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. You, oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, sh kitty nipples. Oh, start the car. Start that car. There are a load of customization options for this gun, including nine barrels, four sights, three bayonets, three magazines, three silencers, eight stocks, and 27 receivers. It also comes in 1K, 2K, and 4K textures. All of the weapons have been added to the leveled list as well as the vendored leveled list. So you can buy them, or you can pry them out of the cold, dead hands of some unlucky f***er who used to own one. And if one of those techniques just don't tickle your fancy, it can also be found in the cellar located at the Sanctuary Settlement. I rate this mod one tree that had too much to drink. I'm done drinking. I've been hung over now for going on 600 years. Are you tired of that boring alien pistol and you want just a little more extraterrestrial bang for your buck? We've come to the right place, because this weapon mod, it would even have E.T. rubbing his tiny alien nipples with his weird giant fingers. Here's a fun fact, my d*** looks just like E.T.'s big finger. Is that weird? 
This adds a fully moddable alien assault rifle to the game, which is based off the alien blaster in the game and it has its own custom animations. This gun has a ton of customization options including 5 receivers, 9 barrels, 4 stocks, 4 magazines, 15 sights, and 3 muzzles. You can also convert the gun into multiple types of weapons including a shotgun, a sniper rifle, an assault rifle, submachine gun, or a powerful beam rifle. Now this gun's even more fun than mentally abusing Preston Garby. Okay, what am I doing? I want you to touch it. Anything else? With your mouth. I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor, after all the help you gave me. It was a joke, you sicko. This weapon can be found in the cave where the alien is located, which is the same place you find the alien blaster. It has also been added to the legendary leveled list, in case you already told the government about the alien in the cave. This means that there will be a chance that the alien rifle will spawn on legendary enemies when you kill them. The tons of different customization options and the lore friendly design make this gun an amazing addition to Fallout 4. One that just feels so natural you couldn't even be sure that it was a mod to begin with. I rate this mod the one guy who had a beard before it was cool. The only thing that scares me more than this mod is the thought of not being able to use this mod. To me, that would be a lot like a bad breakup, don't you think? I mean, I hate breakups, all the crying and bagging, the desperate last attempt at affection. It's embarrassing, especially when you're asked to leave the movie premiere because apparently they don't know you. And security never understands why you're only wearing a trench coat and women's underwear, right? Then Halle Berry's all like, oh my god, oh my god, how'd you get in my limo? You know, just playing it off like you're not meant to be together forever. <laughs> breakups, am I right? It's just ridiculous. I love you, Halle Berry. This mod adds the Goer 43 to Fallout 4. Now it has its own custom animations, custom models, textures, and sounds, all of which look absolutely incredible in the game. The weapon is also customizable with custom materials and different magazines. You can make the gun look old, you can make it look new, or you can make it look a little used. All of which are sure to pump up your street cred in the Commonwealth. Now if you want to obtain this weapon, you'll be able to craft it at the Chem Lab under the category Weapons G43. Or, if you're really lazy and you're playing on PC, you can just console command that shit to you right away. This is an absolutely incredible looking weapon mod that looks super realistic in the game and one that's really, really fun to use as you're exploring Fallout 4. I rate this mod the face you make when you realize another guy's balls are on your head. This hat feels strange. This mod adds the Colt Single Action Army seen in Fallout New Vegas as the .357 revolver. Comes with levelless integration, a handful of mods, custom animations, and working power armor animations. Also works with bullet counted reloads. Yeah, that's right. Now the animations just look amazing for this mod. I mean, the animations alone for this mod, they've changed my life. Like before the animations for this mod, I was living on the streets, putting cucumbers in my mouth for $3, and sleeping in a one bedroom cardboard apartment located next to dog shit. After this mod though, well, I still suck for money and live on the streets, but now I got a really cool mod in Fallout 4, so things are looking up. Now, this weapon behaves much like the .357 revolver in Fallout New Vegas, and to a lesser extent, the single action revolver from Fallout 76. Now, this gun has a number of customization options, including three barrels with an alternate receiver and alternate cylinders, three material finishes, a .38 caliber rechamber, and also a much more modern style receiver. Now, the bullet counted reload mod isn't necessarily required but if you don't install it, your character will always load six rounds no matter how many shots you fired. And we all know, that's just f***ing bonkers, isn't it? Now if you want to acquire this weapon, then it will spawn on gun vendors and on trigger men when your character reaches level 8 or higher in the game. There's also a handful of them that have been placed throughout the world space. Oh yeah. I rate this mod one guy trying to learn sports. Am I doing it right? No, Bobby. You're way off, man. This mod adds the hunting revolver and its unique variant, the Ranger Sequoia, 
to Fallout 4 based off of the same weapon in Fallout New Vegas. Now the weapon has all its own custom meshes and textures and comes with a wide range of new customization options. In terms of modifications, the hunting revolver has a receiver upgrade chain similar to the vanilla .44 revolver, along with several grips, scopes, barrels, and muzzle options. Now the Ranger Sequoia cannot be modified, but by default does more damage than a max upgraded hunting revolver and it reloads faster. This is a special weapon. It doesn't have a lot of bullets, meaning you'll have to make every shot count. So, if you don't know who the enemy is, then it's best to just go around and ask. Say, hey, are you the enemy? And if they say yes, SHOOT THEM! That way you don't find yourself in one of these sticky situations. Now you're gonna get it, you super mutant bitch! Oh no. Let me start by saying I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. GONNA SPLATTER YOUR brain! <laughs> Now the hunting revolver will appear for legendary enemies in certain loot caches after level 20 and in specialist vendors after level 30. For example, Cleo and Good Neighbor. You can also find a hunting revolver at the top of the tower in Lynn Woods and the Ranger Sequoia can be found in Kellogg's house behind his bed. Now this weapon is just so nice that I'm, I'm sure there's some confused fifth grader out there somewhere that wants to be this weapon mod when they grow up. Yeah. This weapon is one of the most iconic weapons in Fallout New Vegas, and no Fallout New Vegas mod list would be complete without it. Now this is definitely a must-have addition to your mod list if you want that authentic Fallout New Vegas feel in Fallout 4. I rate this mod one cat whose human thinks it's a monkey. Would you like a banana, Bojangles? No! For the last time, I'm not a f***ing monkey! This beautiful weapon mod is so realistic it comes with its own lore background to reinforce its immersion in the game. It was designed by FN Herstal and just came into use at the time of the war. According to the mod author, this gun showed up in Fallout 2 and Tactics as the HK P90C and the FN P90C respectively. However, the mod author wanted to go a little more realistic with its design so it doesn't use 10mm ammunition and it doesn't have a 24 round clip. Its clip is bigger and thicker and makes all the girls go Wow! That is one long, thick mother clip! This beauty has been integrated into the game through the level lists and can be found on gunners and raider bosses. There are also some unique variants that can be found throughout the world, should you be so inclined to go look for them. This violent piece of hardware has a lot of customization options that really give it a custom look and feel. There are three barrels, three receivers, seven sights, six suppressors, one of which is so big it actually makes me blush, five ammo types, three ammo conversions with custom sounds, two magazines, one shroud, two modes of fire, three tactical attachments, and three rail attachments. Needless to say, there is enough options here to make everyone as happy as a clam. Which begs the question, how does anyone know how happy a clam really is anyways? Did someone find a diary poking out of the sand somewhere that said, June 1st, 2008, dear diary, I'm really, 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 really f***ing happy. Signed, the clam. I rate this mod one kid who just realized how weird it is that his parent was taking pictures of him in the bathtub. Put the camera down, you pedo! What are you trying to scar me for life? Who would have thought a Chinese lake could be so dangerous? This will definitely make me think twice now before I go swimming without my water wings. And for those mean teenagers at the public pool who said water wings are for toddlers, f*** you guys! Not everybody was benefited with the God-given gift of buoyancy. You wouldn't pick on a fish in a wheelchair, would ya? It's basically the same thing. This mod adds the pump action grenade launcher and the hollow rifle from Fallout New Vegas into Fallout 4. Both the China Lake and the hollow rifle have their own custom sounds and animations that look and sound fantastic. Reloading these weapons makes me happier than Bill Cosby finding an unconscious female. Now I know the only thing better than sex is sex with one of these weapons. It just feels so good inside of me.
There are multiple customization options for both weapons. Furthermore, the China Lake has 12 new ammo types that can now be used in the game. There are also 5 unique attachments and 2 legendary variants of the weapons that can be found throughout the world. Furthermore, if you do want to get your hands on the plain Jane versions of these weapons, they have been integrated into the level list with a script so they won't conflict with other mods. Basically, it's a swingers party with ground rules. Like, no eye contact when two guys touch s*** by mistake. Don't look at me! Look away! Look away, Gary! Look away! Now, if you want to get your hands on the legendary weapons, then they can be found either at Gibson's Point Pier inside of a chest in a shack, or in the Concord Speakeasy. Now, if you want to find the legendary unique attachments, then you'll have to check out the vendors Cleo and Arturo, the Fisherman's Friend in Chegara, and the Castle Armory. For more details, check out the mod author's page on the Nexus. I rate this mod one photo of what actually happens when you catch a tiger by the toe. Would highly recommend not letting him go. Could be dangerous. He looks pissed. This mod adds the RU-556 assault rifle to the world of Fallout. This rifle has all its own custom animations and sounds that both look very realistic and also look incredible. The animations really bring this weapon to life in the game, and the great sound files are just icing on my titties. Now this rifle is highly malleable, coming in a large assortment of customizations, including a mishmash of different magazines, scopes, muzzles, stocks, custom finishes, and much, much more. This does more than just feel like a real gun in the game. It actually gives you the ability to mold it to your particular playstyle. So if you're a sneaky little bitch, you can make it all dark and quiet, so you can sneak right up on your enemies. Or if you're loud and obnoxious and you want to wake the neighbors every time you have target practice, well then this rifle can play that part to perfection. Oh, sorry about that. Did I wake you? My bad. Now, if you want to acquire this weapon, you can find it on gunners, traders, merchants, and in random containers throughout the world, as it has been added to the respective level lists. It will start to spawn once your character reaches level 25 and is finally able to move out of his mother's basement. This is an excellent weapon mod, and with all its great features, makes this weapon an amazing addition to Fallout 4. I rate this mod two superheroes that didn't get picked up by Marvel. Because they just gave out way too many rapey vibes. Have you ever thought to yourself, wow, this rifle is so plain Jane, I wish I could add a Gatling gun to this thing and really spice up this party. Well, now you can. As this mod adds a new weapon to the game, the M54 Gatlin rifle. Which is, in essence, a rifle with a spinning barrel and a high rate of fire, aka a Gatling gun. This rifle may eat bullets like the brownies at a brownie eating convention, but it packs a punch as well. Whatever unlucky f***er finds itself on the other end of this rifle, might as well kiss their bum cushions goodbye, as this rifle has a master's degree in blowing off bum cushions. This gun is actually so unusual and unique, it reminds me of that super unusual time when I got super wasted and got in a fist fight with a guy dressed up like a panda bear for eyeballing my Doritos. Or maybe it was a panda bear. Either way, I'm not allowed back to the zoo anymore. Now this rifle has a ton of customization options so you can really change it up in the game. It has 10 receivers, 4 barrel 7 sights, 3 barrel jackets, 2 magazines, 3 stocks, and 5 muzzles. Also, you can change up the ammo type of this weapon for added effects. The different ammos you can choose from include 50 caliber, 45, 44, 38.308, 10mm, 5.56, 5mm, railway spikes, laser plasma, and even a surprise ammo. F love surprises. This gun is in fact so powerful, it could blow the man sweat off of David Hasselhoff's chest pubes. Now if you want to get your Cheeto covered fingers on this weapon, you can find it throughout the world as it has been added to the respective level lists. This weapon doesn't only look like it fits the world of Fallout 4 perfectly with an immersive design, but it really stands out as a unique weapon in and of itself, making it an excellent addition to Fallout 4. I rate this mod one little person that just realized he wants to take over the world. <laughs> 
This mod adds the WH-77 to the world of Fallout. This LSW weapon is all you need to take over the Commonwealth. Better yet, it's all you need to take over anything. If Muse, the leader of the Somali Pirates, and Captain Phillips had this weapon rather than that AK, that would have been a much shorter film. I'm the captain now. Okay! Alright, you heard him, guys. He's the captain now. Alright, yeah. Calm down, captain. Where are we going? The end. This weapon is scarier than a spider dressed up like a clown singing Celine Dion on an elevator. Alright? It's terrifying. The meshes and textures look great for this weapon and would make a grown adult person blow a spoofy load all over his chest nipples. This realistic but powerful weapon is an excellent addition to the Commonwealth and makes for a fun but practical means of ending those who would wish you harm as you hop, skip, and skedaddle all over this vast environment. This weapon has a ton of customization options so you can change up the function and the style based on your own particular playstyle. There are 5 barrels, 4 stocks, 6 mags, 5 materials, 13 sights, 3 muzzles, 4 types of ammo, 14 receivers, and 3 bipod attachments on 3 of the barrel types. This sweetness also has some different color skins to choose from to really spice things up. Now if you want to acquire this weapon, you can find it on raiders, gunners, super mutants, in loot chests, and on vendors, as it has been added to all the respective level lists. Now this weapon just screams power and should be a sought after addition to any sociopath's arsenal in Fallout 4. I rate this mod the face people make when they realize someone just whipped their d out on the elevator. I really should have taken the stairs. Have you ever thought to yourself, damn, I wish there was a gun in this game so strong that it could shoot the nuts right off of King Kong's ball sack? Well, now there is. Not only do you get a weapon that has the raw power to completely demolish a small family of eight while they eat their macaroni and cheese, but this gun also kind of looks like a giant metal penis with the right attachments at it. So when you're raining down hellfire on Maddie the Super Mutant and his band of misshapen cannibalistic bump sniffers, it's like you're blowing a big old spoofy load of karma all over their goddamn green faces. This gun is so powerful, in fact, it could stop the Kool-Aid man from breaking down your wall and saying, oh yeah, all the time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Say oh yeah again, mother -fucker. I dare you. I double dare you, mother -fucker. And fix my fucking wall, man. I paid a lot of money for this building so that I didn't have giant Kool-Aid people come busting through my wall. What, you think it's okay to come busting through people's walls as long as you give them Kool-Aid after? Huh? No one wants to eat out of your giant Kool-Aid. Now this mod adds the MK-22 and the MK-19 to the world of Fallout. Now both of these are strong enough to scare the tits off of a totalitarian dictator, but the MK-22 is a bit stronger than the MK-19. Both weapons have multiple attachments. For instance, the MK-22 has six barrels, four muzzles, four receivers, three sights, five ammo types, six materials, two ballistic shield attachments, and two magazines. The MK-19 has six barrels, four muzzles, four receivers, three sights, five ammo types, six materials, two ballistic shield attachments, two magazines, and four extra receivers chambered in .308 rounds. There are also six materials to choose from, so you can change up the style depending on how you feel. This weapon has been added to the same level list as the minigun, so from level 20 onwards, you will have the chance of finding one of these babies in the same places you find the vanilla minigun, as well as they can be purchased off of vendors. So high level super mutants and the Brotherhood of Steel could be a good place to start looking for these beauties. I rate this mod one photo of what the world might look like if abortion was legal at any age. This mod adds a high quality model of Revy's custom Beretta 92FS from the anime series Black Lagoon to the world of Fallout. This pistol looks amazing and really stands out when wielding it in the game. The mod author did a great job taking a fictional two dimensional weapon and bringing it to life in Fallout 4. Now this gun just explodes off of the screen with custom meshes and textures that have a story to tell. I mean, if this gun could talk, it would likely say something like, Go ahead, squeeze me. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. 
Oh, just squeeze me until I explode all over their judgmental faces. Oh, squeeze me until you're doing six consecutive life sentences back to back. Squeeze me until Kim John Un calls you up in the middle of the night and says, I'm sorry. Now, this pistol is just intimidating to glare at. I mean, look at it. Put it this way, if you're in the middle of the woods and you whip this bad boy out, it would scare the pubic hair off of a grizzly bear's nutsack. So I don't need to tell you, this f***er is intimidating. Now this weapon is meant to be unique, so you can't just find it on dead nobodies in the game. Rather, you're gonna have to go out into the world to get it. Now if you do want to acquire it, you can find it near Vault 111 in a footlocker between two cars. Now this weapon does only have stat-based customizations, but that doesn't stop it from being gnarly as f***. I rate this mod that one guy who gets super pissed off when he sees other people wearing his spandex underwear. What the hell, man? What the hell? I'm sorry. I just didn't think you'd mind. Now, there are a lot of AKs on the Nexus, and some of them have been done really well, in fact, and could easily find their way on this list. However, this baby stands out from the rest with its unique design and its custom options that really make this rifle one of a kind. This AK is so attractive, it could get its own reality television show. They would call it Keeping Up with the Kalashnikovs. This Kalashnikov has custom everything, from the sounds right through to the animations. Now the custom animations, they blow my eyebrows up in like a vertical fashion towards the top of my forehead. Like, hey, look at those sweet custom animations. And the custom sounds are so good, it's like a little fairy with magical fingers is gently tickling my butthole when this gun goes off. Now there are multiple attachments for this weapon including multiple sights and a custom silencer that looks like it was fashioned out of cardboard and shoelaces. If cardboard and shoelaces could make my boner happy. There are also multiple weapon skins for this weapon in case you wanted to blend into your environment with all sorts of camos and shit. So if you want to be like a chameleon then BOOM you're in luck. But there's also weapon skins that rather than blend in they stand out. Kind of like a homeless guy doing jumping jacks on the subway. You just won't be able to look away. Now if you want to acquire this weapon, you can craft it at the chemistry station, or you can purchase it off vendors, as it has been added to the respective level lists. I rate this mod one photo of what happened to Wilson after Tom Hanks got saved in the movie Castaway. Can't feel my face. This mod adds the Dan Wesson Discretion, the Kimber Eclipse Custom 2, and the Kimber Super Jagar to the Commonwealth. Along with modifications that will keep these weapons relevant and useful right up to level 100 of your playthrough. There is also a unique Monster Hunter version of this weapon that can be acquired throughout your playthrough of the game, as long as you're lucky enough to stumble across it. These guns are just incredible to look at. I mean, these guns look so attractive they make Fabio look like a frog that just got kicked in the balls. This is a very unique mod in the sense that although these handguns have been added to the level list, they spawn very rarely in the game, so they are hard to come by. However, they do have the possibility of spawning at level 10 or higher on raiders, gunners, civilians, triggermen, or even the occasional vendors. Now these weapons cannot be crafted, and more powerful modifications for these weapons can be found throughout the world that will continue to add to these weapons as you continue to progress through the game. Now these new mods can be found throughout the world as they have been added to the level list, but more will become available as you continue to level up through the game, continually making your pistol stronger as you continue to level up. So the pistol itself can level with you. Now this is an immersive modification system that keeps these weapons interesting throughout the course of your entire playthrough of the game. Now this weapon mod has a really unique ability as well. It can actually help people lose weight. All you have to do is gently but firmly press the business end up against someone's temple and just say the magic words. Don't eat again or I'll f***ing kill you! The meshes and textures for these weapons really stand out and don't look anything like other 1911s that have been added to Fallout 4 in the past. These guns truly look and feel unique in the game. Now this weapon mod is not only fun to use and looks great, but it also makes traveling the commonwealth new and exciting as you play through the game, as you will continue to look for new modifications for these handguns to make them stronger and stronger. I would highly recommend this mod to anyone's playthrough of Fallout 4. I rate this mod one frog who just got kicked in the nuts. Ah, my balls! Ah. 
This bold action beauty is a Russian made five shot internal magazine fed military rifle. It was originally developed by the Imperial Russian Army from 1882 to 1891 and is one of the most mass produced military bolt action rifles in history. Boom! Facts! Laid them out for you. Yeah, eat those facts up. They're so good. They're so good. Now, if you're a bit of a movie buff, you might very well remember this rifle, as Jude Law rocked the shit out of this rifle and behind enemy lines, shooting the fuck out of the Nazis. Now this well-rounded rifle is available in Fallout 4 due to this very talented and slightly delicious mod author. This weapon looks amazing in Fallout. I mean, it looks and feels so realistic to the point where reality and fiction kind of blend together in a way that I can only describe as poetic. The weapon itself features two custom first and third person animations depending on what kind of bolt you're using in the game. Now if you're using the straight bolt then the Mosin operates more like a standard rifle and loads using a 5 round clip which is quick, easy, and super fun to watch. Now, if you're using the curve bolt, then the Mosin operates more like a sniper rifle and will load the bullets one at a time, which can feel like a goddamn eternity when people are trying to shoot at your face. This weapon has multiple attachments to change it up in the game. There are multiple sights and multiple muzzle attachments including suppressors, a normal bayonet, and a psycho's bayonet. I mean this is the type of bayonet you see on the gun of a guy who's got like a necklace made out of human ears or some shit. Like real psycho shit. I mean let's just look at this thing. Nobody needs this many knives. Now if you want to acquire the Mosin Nagant, you'll be able to find it on dead people after you reach level 25 or higher as it has been added to the respective level list. I rate this mod that one face that just says, I teach third grade science, but I'm also high as f right now. This mod adds a break action laser to the Commonwealth. The break action laser was developed by General Atomics and was a publicly available alternative to the military AER-9 laser. Originally marketed as a vermin rifle for rodents and other small game with the gimmick of instant and clean vaporization. The break action laser 7 was popular amongst tinkerers who figured out ways to dramatically increase its power output. Those sons of bitches. Its simple design and durable parts made it ideal for both personal customization and a wide range of game hunting as long as power conservation wasn't an issue. The break action laser is meant to fill a power gram that was frustratingly missing from the standard laser weapons. Laser scatter weapons are nearly useless outside of near melee range and totally unsatisfying to use, and semi-auto lasers lack the power output to be useful as late game weapons. The break action laser fills that early gap by providing an upgradable shotgun that has a moderate range. Later on with a higher level of science and gun nut, the break action laser can fill other roles in your arsenal and give you a worthwhile way to burn off fusion cells. The lobber muzzle turns the weapon into a grenade launcher, lobbing fast medium range explosives. The discharger muzzle, on the other hand, offers the longest possible range with an accurate and powerful single shot blast that can rival the most powerful penetration of the most powerful ballistic weapons. So don't let your enemy grab it out of your hands like an amateur and shoot you in the goddamn face. Always remember, villains don't care about your feelings or VDCAYF for short. You never know what a villain's gonna do, okay? You never know what a villain's gonna do, okay? Speaking of villains, you know who I think would, would have made a great villain? I think Splinter from the Ninja Turtles would have been an amazing villain. Think about it. How many people are scared of rats? Now imagine a giant rat that knows karate and just scissor kicked your grandma through the pantry window. Kya! <laughs> yep, that is a terrifying villain right there. Anyways, there are a few customization options for this weapon as well. There are three grips, three muzzles, five sights, and seven skins to choose from. Nero also added the ability to get additional skins through gumroad.com forward slash Nero. The link will be in the description where you can acquire additional skins for this weapon that are fully Nexus compatible. They are free of charge, but you can choose to donate if you'd like to support Nero as a mod author. These skins just look incredible, and I'd say that they are definitely worth more than 
any skin that I've seen on the Creation Club. But I will let you all be the judge. Now, if you want to acquire this weapon, it has been added to various level lists in the world via a script, meaning no vanilla records are edited. Most enemies that can have lasers by default have a chance of carrying one of these bad boys, with gunners being the most likely. You can also purchase them off of certain vendors, and there are also two legendary versions of this weapon that can be found throughout the world. One can be found at the Synth Retention Bureau Armory, and the other can be found at the General Atomics Galleria. I rate this mod one photo of what happens when you take the duck face just a little bit too far. Now this mod adds the Bozar, a legendary sniper LMG from Fallout 2 and Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 4. It comes with an all new bullpup design, including custom assets and animations. And I don't think I need to tell you guys this, but the custom meshes, textures and animations, they made me jizz in my pants. Now the Bozar was called the ultimate refinement of the sniper's art. It's a compact but heavy weapon. It is also an automatic sniper rifle, however you can modify it to be semi-auto if you can't handle all those bullets coming out of your sniper all at once. I mean, some girls just can't handle all that action all at once. I get it. I mean, there's no shame in going for the semi-auto. <laughs> it's cool. We won't judge. But we will. We will definitely judge. Now, the original Bozar from Fallout 2 and Fallout New Vegas could not be modified to semi-auto, though. Just saying. Because Fallout 2 and Fallout New Vegas peeps, they could handle all that f***ing fully auto action in their sniper rifles. Okay. Also, fun fact, the bullpup design allows it to install a much larger barrel for higher range and keeps the size of the weapon the same as the first Bozar models. Now, because the Bozar is somewhat finicky and prone to jamming if it's not kept scrupulously clean, which is a word I think I made up, scrupulously, scrupious, scrupious. I'm almost positive I made that word up. It is actually rarely found or seen on the Wasteland Battlefield, but most vendors will carry it if your character is level 30 or higher. There is also a small chance of this weapon being on gunner bosses at level 35 or higher. Now this sniper rifle also comes with a few customization options to change it up in the game, including 6 barrels, 6 stocks, 6 magazines, 3 muzzles, 8 sights, and 3 simple paint options to choose from. Plus, 2 unique paint jobs as well. So go ahead and mix and match until your nipples get all swollen and weird looking. I rate this mod two dogs that just switch bodies Freaky Friday style. What have you done to us? This mod adds the type of knife to the game that you could use to stab college kids to death with after you challenge them to a rigged trivia game over the phone. On a side note, I always thought that it would be interesting if those psychos from the Scream movies called up a gun enthusiast instead. I really wonder how that would have played out. Hey there. Do you want to play a game? Do you like scary movies? No, no, no. Here's a better question. Do you like getting murdered? Because I have a fully automatic gas-loaded assault rifle within our arm's reach right now, and I've been to prison twice. Guess what? I love the food. So I dare you, no, no, I double dare you to take my girlfriend to a chair by the pool because I will literally f*** your corpse. Oh, sh wrong number. Sorry about that. This knife is a great addition to the game as there really wasn't enough in terms of knife variety before this mod. Because the combat knife really looks like sh and even a stealth character, I think, would probably try to learn karate just to avoid using it in the game. However, this knife looks amazing and really makes a stealth character relevant in Fallout 4. Sneaking around, stabbing people with this knife is so much fun, it would give my psychotherapist chills if I told her about it. Now, if you want to locate this weapon, you can get it off dead gunners after they die or after you kill them, as it has been added to the respective level list. The textures and meshes for this knife look great and make this an excellent addition to Fallout 4. I rate this mod the face you make when you realize the contents of the drunk texts that you were sending people the night before. Ah, sh Ah, sh Monday at the office is going to be really touch and go. Really touch and go for me. This mod is the recreation of the Albion Viceroy in Fallout 4. There is both one-handed and two-handed variants of this weapon in case your arm gets tired from decapitating your enemies. You can wield this with two hands rather than just one. This sword is big in an unnecessary kind of way. It's so long and goddamn girthy that it just looks too good. That it's the type of weapon a ghoulish looking creature would obsess over it in a cave somewhere and likely try to f*** it.
thought I had issues, right? Anyways, this sword is definitely an upgrade from a prison shift, but possibly a downgrade from a lightsaber in terms of damage. The mod author did a great job on this weapon mod, as it looks very realistic, but also fits into the Fallout 4 aesthetic very nicely. I don't feel like this sword breaks immersion, rather I just feel like it adds to the overall dynamic of the game. Expanding on the already gigantic arsenal of unique weapons in the game, and added yet another beautiful but deadly addition to the mix. This is a fun weapon to look at, and it's even more enjoyable to use it in the game. It has been implemented into Fallout in a very immersive way, in that it can be crafted at the chemistry station. So whip out your beakers and schematics, people, because this bitch is worth burning off your eyebrows for. I rate this mod that one guy who had to pitch the concept of the Snuggie to investors. No, no, it's, it's, it's a blanket with sleeves in it. That's a sweater. No, no, you can't wear it, it's, it's a blanket but with sleeves in it. So a shirt? No, it's too long to be a shirt. It's a blanket with sleeves in it. Keeps you warm, man. So a house coat? No, you wear it the other way. That's, that's just a house coat. No, it's a blanket with sleeves in it. That's a house coat. No, no, it's not. It's a blanket with sleeves in it. Are you gonna stab me at any point in time? Probably, yes. Now this mod adds the Russian designed SVT-40 to the Commonwealth, which stands for Super Vagina Tits 40, or perhaps something else. I don't know, I just made that shit up, because I thought it sounded cool. Now this weapon was built from scratch, with all its own custom meshes and textures, as well as its own custom animations. It literally looks like a real SVT-40 got up and forced its way into my monitor, because this weapon just looks that realistic. The SVT-40 is also lore friendly, as it is a World War II rifle, and fits with the lore of Fallout really well. So that makes this weapon not only fun to use in Fallout 4, but also an immersive addition to the game. Also, it has a lot of customization options to really change it up, so you can go from an infantry style rifle, or you can buff up its skin pillows and make it into a sniper rifle. Now the customization options include 12 receivers, 3 barrels, 4 types of sights, 2 magazines, 4 tape styles, 10 tape colors, 11 stickers, 2 muzzles, and 4 different finishes. Oh yeah, I said 4. 4 different finishes, baby! I don't know why I got so excited there. I just really like finishes. Now if you want to acquire this weapon, it can be found on gunners or at vendors at or around level 16 or higher, as it has been added to the respective level lists. Now there are also two legendary variants of this gun that have been placed throughout the world space. The Azuris and the Krasanazima, which all have their own custom shit, so just get out there and find them. I rate this mod one photo of the world's scariest pilot. Attention, attention all passengers. Does, it, does anyone know what button I push to turn the plane on? I'm asking for a friend. Thanks again for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to slap that subscribe button like it's three weeks behind on your rent. Bitch! Where's the money, bitch? Where's the money? Where is it? Also, go ahead and hit that bell icon, too, because apparently YouTube thought there should be extra steps. Why not, right? I'd like to subscribe, but first I have to click this and this and do this. Oh, it needs an email. All right, and this. Okay, Just tell me when he's uploading. Fuck. Once you do all that, if you're lucky, at the stroke of midnight, a tiny little average baiter's fairy might come and tickle your butthole. I hope to see you all again next time, and remember to keep on average baiting, baby.